Welcome back to episode 9 of me trying to play USA Monopoly in real life. So far I have been to Dallas, Orlando, LA, Seattle, Hawaii, New Orleans and now I am in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am absolutely shattered. I'm right down the start of the strip and I really need to get back to the hotel to get my Monopoly board and roll the dice. I've walked all the way to the Welcome to Las Vegas sign but if you think I'm walking back you're dreaming. So I'm going to order a taxi from where wherever I am in the middle of the road and I'm gonna head back to the hotel. Right, let's order a taxi from here. What? $33? Like, I know I walked a bit, but it's not that far. I'm shattered. I'm just gonna have to do it. It's connecting me to a driver. Get me back to that hotel. I wanna roll this dice and see where we're going next. Oh yeah, connected three minutes away. Toyota Highlander. Oh, thank God for that. I think this is him now, is it? Hey, how are you, mate? You good? Good, so well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, good. Where are you from? From Russia. Russia? Which part? Ural Mountains. No, I don't. Which part of Russia is that? Ural, it's in the centre of Russia. Ah, it's in the centre? Wow. Yeah. You're from England? Yeah, from Wales. My Ruski is Chut Chut. <laughs> what do you speak? That's nice. I try. How long have you been in the US for? In Vegas, five years. In America, since 2010. How do you like America then? Do you prefer America or Russia? Ah, uh, you know, my heart and spirit is in Russia. I never like choice live here and come here. Yeah. It's just work, you know. Like I'm performing acrobat in the circus. Really? You're yes. an acrobat? Oh my Cirque god. Cirque Soleil, it's like our top career. Mate, you're so, an acrobat in Cirque Soleil? Yeah. yeah. I mean, what? I mean, no way, how come you don't do it anymore? Many surgeries, many injuries. Many injuries, oh wow. Mate, that's insane that you did, like that's like top level performance. Yeah, so that's why I came to Vegas, you know. Oh my mm -hmm. top career and yeah. I come in here and I work and my wife, my daughter, they like and we stay here. Oh, amazing. Our heart belongs to Russia. Yeah, no, I <laughs> understand. You know? It's like every I travel to a lot of countries and I always think, oh, would I live in another country? And I think about it, but I always find myself going back to the UK because that's home and it's what yes. I know and it's yes, what it's, it's comfortable, cool. isn't it? I'll jump out here. Yeah. What was your name, sorry? Alexia. Alexia. Spasiba Bolshoya. That's with Daniel. See you later. Isn't it mad that we're nine episodes into this series and most of the taxi drivers across all the different states have all been from completely different countries. There's such a mix of people in the US. And you know what? Every single one of those taxi drivers has been sound as well. I love meeting people and hearing their stories. Right, we're just coming through the main entrance to the Cosmo. Let's get upstairs and get this Monopoly board out. Where are you from? No, it's all good. Chicago. I've never been to Chicago. I've seen your videos, but I'm like, uh, you go around and I feel like you're trying to, was it do things for free or something? Yeah, that, that sounds a bit Is like me, right? yeah. That sounds okay. a lot like me. That's super cool. <laughs> what are you doing Cheers. here? So I'm doing a challenge at the minute and play Monopoly in real life, US oh. edition. So I rolled the dice and I got Vegas and here I am. Shut up. So I'm about to go to my room, get my Monopoly board out, roll again and see where I'm going next. No way. Yeah. Are you just going to go take a flight somewhere else? Literally. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. This is me? I think you were seven. This is me. Have a good one. See you later. You too. Have a good one. Wait a minute. What is my room number? I'm not even on the 17th floor. I'm so tired, I don't even know what day it is. It was the hotel in New Orleans that was the 17th floor. I'm on the 24th. Let's try again. Right, let's get in this room. Let's get this board out. There's just one thing I need to do first. Baby, we made it. What a day. Why can't the challenge just end in Vegas and I can just chill here for a bit? Where do you reckon we're going next then? What's on the board? I promise. As soon as I finish this tub of Pringles, I'll get the board out and we'll roll. Done some miles this week. I think every video that I've done has been in a different time zone to the video before, so it's always changed. Also remember, I'm giving away the Monopoly board at the end of the series, so if you want a chance to win it, make sure you follow me on Instagram, at Simon J. Wills, and share and like the video and comment on it. I'm gonna pick someone at the end. I've spent far too long in this bath. I'm telling you now, these Pringles, I reckon are about 20 quid out of that mini bar. I dread to think how much that is. I wouldn't be surprised. Between the cam and the Pringles, it's 100 quid. I hope not. Right. Time to roll the dice. 
You've got to see this before I do, though. Look at this at night, though. It's ridiculous. It looks so much better lit up. There's the main Las Vegas Boulevard there. Bellagio lit up, Caesars Palace, the fountain, everything. And then obviously goes down there, MGM over there. I don't know if it's picking up the sound on the camera, but this whole place is just pumping. Right, let's roll this dice once and for all. Community chest, chance. And there's my McDonald's fries. And that is going on Las Vegas Boulevard, Las Vegas. Right, here we go. What we're looking at here. So it's impossible to get Chicago. We've got Washington, an airport, Chance, a Boston, credit card, Times Square, and go. So it's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, and I finished. If I roll a nine, I'm running that bath again, let me tell you. Are you ready for this? Come on, lucky throw. Here we go, come on, come on. Three, two, and a one. One, two, three. The White House, Washington, D.C. I tell you what, this board has literally just sent me from East Coast to West Coast to East Coast to West Coast. So now I'm flying all the way back to the East Coast, another three hours difference and another long flight. But I'm not complaining. Get me to the capital. We're on the home straight now. There's only six spaces to go to the end of the board. Let's have a look at what the options are for Washington tomorrow. Right, Las Vegas to Washington, D.C. Oh, you're going to absolutely love this. So there's three direct flights tomorrow. One is Spirit, who I flew this morning. The other two are United. The Spirit one leaves at 6 a.m. and gets in at 1.40 p.m. Because obviously it's a four and a half hour flight, but we're going three hours forward as well. So we're losing three hours. That's why we're getting in at 1.40 p.m. And then the United one doesn't get in until 4 p.m. And then there's a later one that gets in at 9 p.m. So to be honest, it's the early morning one because if I get the 8.20 to get in at 4pm It'll probably be dark by the time I get at the airport and get to the White House So I'm gonna take the early morning flight again, so I've got more time there This has got to be the last early morning flight on this challenge surely Spirit is such a bad airline as well. I couldn't even recline the chair. Oh I'm gonna be so tired. It is with great regret that I have booked that flight so I am leaving Las Vegas at 6.05 a.m. So I still need to be at the airport again for 4 a.m. But I'm getting into Washington at 1.40 p.m. Boom. Right. Let's get to bed. I'm going to have as much sleep as I can, which is probably not going to be a lot. Because of the time difference again, I'm jet lagged to death. And then we'll get up in the morning. Please enter the time for the wake up call. 3.30 a.m. Wake up time accepted. Right, wake up call booked. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the morning. Morning, it is 3.44 a.m. Two hours and 16 minutes to my flight. I can confirm it is still pitch black outside, and I need to get out of this room and get to the airport. Let's go. I hope Vegas airport isn't too busy, because I have literally got less than two hours to this flight here. I'm gonna miss that hotel room. It's a shame I haven't got more time there, but Vegas, I'll be back. Let's get checked out on a taxi quick. I can't believe it, there's no queue. The only time where there's no queue in this hotel is at 4 a.m. in the morning. Hey, how's it going, mate? You good? Can I check out a 2401, please? Is this the only time in this hotel where there's no queue at reception? <laughs> Most definitely, yeah, we can take care of that for you. Awesome, is that all sorted, yeah? Perfect, thanks so much, mate. Cheers, have a good one. Literally, I'm heading out and people are still on a night out here. This place just never sleeps, does it? Right, where's the taxi? Hi, how are you, mate? You good? Cheers, thank you. Where are we? Uh, to the airport. Which airlines are going? Uh, Spirit. Spirit. Is it Terminal 1? Yeah, I got it, I got it. Cheers, thank you, mate. Cheers. You had a busy night, mate? You were my first ride. First ride? Yeah. I've just started. I'm guessing the airport will be quiet at this time. Yeah. Thank God for that. How long will you work for now then, mate, if you started at half three? Up to 3.50. What, 12 hours? Yes. Wow. How many 12-hour shifts do you do a week? Five days. Five days, 12 hours. 
yeah. and then how many days off just two and then Ooh. go again yeah if you don't mind me asking do you make good money doing taxi driving in vegas no you pay the, the company you make it good keep so know. you only get a percentage the taxi company takes the most of it 61 percent you take it the company the company yeah. takes 61 percent mm -hmm. i make hundred dollar 39 dollar my side before tax jeez how long is it to the airport from here Five minutes now. Ah, good. What time you fly? Uh, six or five. Yeah, you have time. You I've laughing. got time. Why are the red lights in Vegas like red for like an hour? So you see, it's a Formula One. So they've changed the red and green lights because of the F1. Yeah. Oh my! Is there anything that haven't changed because of the F1? No change. Everything in this place has changed. Is this Terminal One now? Yes. Amazing. The charge has been approved. Nice to meet you, mate. Have a good one. All the best. Right, the time now is 4.20 and I have got one hour, 45 minutes until my flight. Thankfully, it doesn't look too busy. Here we go, all gates level two, so it must be up here. A and B gates this way. Right, let's get through security. Look at this, this is a dream, no queues. Security done and it feels like I've just come out the hotel. Look at it, just slot machines everywhere. Oh, Starbucks, I get a cup of tea. Hey, how's it going, mate? Can I get an English breakfast tea? Cheers, thanks very much, mate. I needed that. Now we're looking for gate B25. It should be born in any minute, to be fair. Hey, how's it going, man? Hello, and your name's... I made it just in time, Simon Wilson. Okay, All good? Side. Nice one, thanks, man. Good old Spirit Airlines. Hopefully I can get more sleep on this. Can you believe these seats don't recline? We wouldn't have even thought about it that way. I know, this is going to be a long flight. It could be worse. It could be worse. Listen, I'm not complaining. At least we're not in the middle seat. Next stop, Washington DC. Cheers, thanks very much, have a good day. And we are in Washington DC. Wow, this is the quietest airport I have been to yet. I am so happy I managed to get some sleep on that flight. When I rolled the dice in Vegas last night to come to DC, I messaged someone who doesn't live an awful long way from here to see if they were free. And I've literally got off the flight, checked my messages, and they said they're coming to the airport. I cannot believe he's actually coming. But if you've seen my videos for a long time, you might recognize this guy. It's not actually sank in that he's gonna be here. I've not seen him for years. Where is he? Oh my god, are you ready for this? <laughs> hey, hey, what do you say? How are you? <laughs> oh my god. I do know how you've even got the big Debra. The big Debra's here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how are you keeping? It's oh, been too long. mate, Way look at my sign as well. I mean, I couldn't have got a bigger sign for you. Oh, mate. <laughs> mate, thanks so much for driving up. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Absolutely. Big Tom's here. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Got my cousin, Big Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> mate, honestly, this still hasn't sank in that you've actually come here. I How long did it take you to drive up? Uh, a little over five hours. Was it? Yeah, yeah. You, what time did you set off? Uh, eight o'clock this morning. Oh my uh, God, mate. The furthest airport away from This was the only morning yeah. flight. Every yeah. other flight was like, it was getting in at stupid o'clock, wasn't it? <laughs> mate. Can you believe I rolled BC? No, absolutely So not. the picture on the Monopoly board is the yep. White House. Yes. So we'll yes. check out DC. Oh, absolutely. And then we'll go and complete the challenge in the White House. But we don't get kicked out first. Yeah, <laughs> are we sneaking into the White House, mate? What do you reckon? I would not. <laughs> Secret service that they hang out in the trees and on the top of the buildings. I mean, you'll see when we get down there. There's the secret amount of service in the trees at the White House. Yes, they'll, they'll be hanging out in the trees. They're up on the top of the building. Oh and you'll my see when we God! Get there. You'll never see so many police in your life. Jesus! When we get down there. It's it's intense. How's life then, mate? What's new? I got another dog. Still have, have the other one. Yeah, yeah. The dog Bentley. Bentley. Yes. I remember. He, he's uh, just as big as he was. Is he? Uh, How old's Bentley now? Then? I think he's eight. I was gonna say he was almost like a pup when yep. I was round. And we so got, you've got uh, another dog. Yeah, we have another golden retriever. She's completely blind. Oh, we, really? Yeah, we got her when she was eight weeks old. She's a sassy little thing. Is oh, she? Oh, boy. How's Amy? Is she well? Amy is doing fantastic. This airport's no joke, is it? 
Well, it's just about as much of a joke as the Orlando one was. Oh, mate, tell me about it. <laughs> it was like going up and down. And no one. It they kept telling you need mate, to go up, then you need to go down. That Orlando Airport, I swear to God, has not got one exit sign. How is a British person supposed to know what ground transportation means? How do you think us Americans feel when we go over to Europe and what I think is a bathroom sign is the sign for the elevator, and I try to go to the bathroom and I'm walking into an elevator. So back at you. How long did it take you to actually get out of the airport? Airport. Hours. No, I reckon an hour. Wow. Like I was going up and down and then I had to wait for the bus. Yeah. And then I was on the bus. So yeah, honestly, it wasn't quick. <sighs> Mate, this is like Orlando Airport. He's lost here. Do you remember where you parked the car? I do know where, I just don't know where parking is. <laughs> Come on mate, you know, I just where's ground budget. transportation? Come on. Yeah, I really don't have a clue. Uh... <laughs> yep. Come on big Deborah, sort it out. <laughs> sort it out. I have a feeling we're walking around in circles here. We might get there by dark, Tom. Oh yeah, yeah, we, we in the right. Oh, he knows yeah, where okay, it is yeah. now. Yep. Giving yep. me right stick about there. Orlando Airport, he hasn't Here's got a clue. American Airport, aren't they? Oh, it are they, Tom? When I tell you I went down to the opposite end of the airport to pick you up. I was not joking. <laughs> Big Deborah was hoofing it. <laughs> Listen, I know Tom's been having a bit of an Orlando airport moment <laughs> and he's trying to play it down. But as always, we got there in the end, mate. We, we, I mean, we're not there yet. We still got to go down another <laughs> elevator and I'm not sure where I park, so we'll eventually get there. We'll eventually get there. So what do you think of Baltimore so far, huh? Yeah, it looks good. It's pretty nice. So how far is DC from here? About 45 minutes. Ah, so it's not far. So when I put Washington DC in, though, this airport come up as Washington it, DC? It, it will. Like, same thing if you put in New York. It'll put in Newark because it's close to New York. Same thing ah, with this. Okay. If you put in DC. So we're not actually in Washington DC? No, uh -uh. we're in Maryland right now. Oh, wow. I didn't yeah. know that. Have you eaten meat? I have not. Right, we're definitely going to eat this. Starving. He's oh. got it. He's got it. Go on, mate. Do your best starving impression. Starving. Happy <laughs> day. <laughs> mate, you've got to press it loads of times. Did you know if you press it loads of times, the lift comes quicker? I did not know that. I think we're five. Oh no, you've got to keep pressing it, mate. Oh, we're going to take the express. We felt like we we're going up. <laughs> so now we're on our floor. Are you sure this is it? We're cooking on gas. We're getting there. And then we're going to do the old key check. The old key check. What's that? Beep, beep. Ah, okay. Which one's yours, mate? Got a pickup truck now. You got a pickup truck yeah, now? Man, oh, that's wow. Got to me. Yeah. You've gone proper American now, I mate. I did. Oh, yeah. Which one's yours, mate? This one right here that has a few Boston stickers on oh, there. Oh, he's the always got the everybody. Boston, he's got the Patriots. Wicked smart. <laughs> <laughs> you could either put your book bag behind this. Yeah, seat. can I put it in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give Actually, up to yep, you, mate. you're perfect. Oh, mate, I like this truck. Say oh my god, I keep forgetting I'm in the US. I'll drive if you want me. <laughs> These poor people are like, what the hell are they doing? I really worked up a sweat doing that. Thanks Mate, a lot. Tell them, thanks a lot to Jeez. me. You're the one taking us on a goose chase. No, I appreciate you picking me up, mate. Thank no, you so not much. a problem at all. Mate, I did not think I'd be in the car with you today. I honestly never thought if this day would happen. Mate, when I got banned from the US, <laughs> I thought I was never going to come back. Mate, I tell you what, it is so good to see you. Likewise, it does feel like yesterday that we just said goodbye at the Hamtrak station and I feel and like we need to ways. go to a golf course and blow a couple of horns. We <laughs> For old time's go. sake. <laughs> mate, do you remember that guy? He hit the golf ball at the house. <laughs> I you was so that? scared. I was like, mate, he's hitting out the house. What is this guy doing? <laughs> There's a place in DC, it's called uh, Ben's Chili Bowl. It's a local landmark. They've had uh, pictures of presidents there, all oh, types wow. of famous people. Is it like a posh restaurant? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those you don't want to be there past 10 o'clock type Oh, of. really? Oh, well, is it rough? DC in general is just very rough. Is uh, it? I thought it was posh in DC. Oh, you're going to see here in about 25 minutes uh, <laughs> how well our nation's capital is. It's, oh, uh, wow. The buildings are beautiful, but um, it's a little rough is around here. Is it sketch? Here. Yes, yes. Wow. Sadly, a lot of homeless, you'll see they're all over the street. It's pretty sad. But Is it? Wow. Yeah, not to bring it down any, but yeah. You're, I mean, you're going to see here in a few minutes everything that I'm talking about. But. How far's Uncle Ben's Chili Bowl from here? <laughs> Uncle Ben's. <laughs> What's it called? Ben's Chili Bowl. <laughs> oh, no. I think you're thinking about Uncle Ben's rice. <laughs> <laughs> Tom nearly just had a crash. 
<laughs> I feel like I'm driving over in Europe right now. <laughs> Jesus. I wish I had that on camera. <laughs> Did a brake check on that oh one. Oh my God. Mate, we just nearly totaled the car. <laughs> but it'd be the first time I did this truck. Really? Yeah, I got into an accident last year. Oh, you didn't tell me yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I smashed the whole front end in. Are you joking? No, I How wish did I was. did you that? person in front of me stopped short and I couldn't stop fast enough and so, pretty similar to what nearly just happened. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> one second later with the break in, we wouldn't be going anywhere today. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, the tiredness is kicking in a bit now. I may have a two back-to-back -back flight, 6 a.m. Oh. Up at like 3.30, crazy. It's a pure adrenaline right now is what you're Oh, mate, on. the last two days has been pure adrenaline. Got a question. What is up with Europeans and making people pay for restrooms? Why can't you just give us free bathrooms? Mate, What's with the US with 20% tips? Well, the tip in here is crazy. Uh, yes. Yeah, so Mate, it's insane. On, I would rather pay for the bathroom than pay a 20% tip. I mean, when you put it like that, I wouldn't mind paying one euro for a Mate, bathroom. Mate, listen, if someone does good service, I'll tip them every day of the week. But an ice hockey game, buying some nachos and the guy just gets it off the back and expects a 20% tip. Mate, it's crazy. Yeah, you're right. Even you go to a little concession stand, do you want a tip? Mate, everything, 20%. Yeah. And do you know what? If you don't give 20%, people get angry. Mm -hmm. And then you feel bad when you hit no. And then you got to stand there and wait for the receipt. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> I'm guessing you do that, though. Well, I mean, so I've been told. So I've been told. <laughs> My oops, I hit the wrong button. I can't go back. Oh, she's pointing at me. What she want? Mongo, the kid's out of the camp. I haven't got any change, sorry. Even five. I haven't got any change, I'm Mama really sorry. Bill. Hey, my brother, give me a go, my brother. I, I really don't have any money on me either, hon. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. not, for real. Lie, lie. Okay. <laughs> that right there is what you call Welcome to DC. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> so we got Ben's Chili Bowl. Ooh, I think we got some parking right here. Oh, happy days. You ready for some Uncle Ben's? Right, I am, mate. <laughs> How nice is it in DC today, mate? Weather is beautiful, my man. Sun is shining. How nice could it be that on a day like this, we're going to Uncle Ben's. Uncle Ben's Chili Bowl. Are you ready for this? <laughs> this is it. This is the famous Ben's Chili Bowl, mate. Yep. Have you been here before? Yeah, once before. Yeah. O only once before. Yep. Yep. Look at it. 1958 this place started. This is proper old school. Yeah, oh yeah. It's like you step back in time. After you, mate. Oh, mate, look at this place. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Yeah, good. So what's like the most famous thing to have in here? Like, what's the go-to? So we got the original half smoke. The half original smoke. half smoke, and what is that? A hot dog, it has beef and pork in it. Okay, are you getting that? Okay, so we're gonna get one original half smoke. I'll just get uh, the Big Ben burger, please, mate. Do you want any chili on it? No chili, mate. I'll get some extra cheese on it, though. And then for the fries, can I get some cheese fries, please, mate? What are you having, Big Deborah? What fries are you having? Can I get some chili cheese fries? Do you want drink with it? Yeah, can I get a starry? A what? A starry. What's a starry? It used to be Sierra Miss, but then they got rid of Sierra Miss and it's starry. It tastes like a ah. Sprite. Yeah. Ah, it tastes like Sprite, fair enough. And can we get some onion rings as well, please, mate? So what's the story of Ben's Chili Bowl? It was found in 1958. Mr. Ben... Ah, this is Ben Mr. over here. And he passed away in 2009. Did he? Virginia oh. Virginia still here, she's 90 years old. It's like a story inside, like, it's like a museum. Got, like, ah, it's a museum in here. Even Obama has been here one time. Obama's been here. Now we'll be 44, 85. Mate, I'm looking forward to this. Cheers, thanks very much. Let's do whatever you want. Right. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Appreciate it. Where are we sitting, mate? Look at the history in here, mate. You've got a telly with everybody who's ever been in. Kevin Hart's wow. been in here. I think that's oh, what that you're ketchup. having, isn't it? Look at that beautiful ketchup. Oh, that's what I'm having, the Big Ben Burger. <laughs> Who've we got here? We've got, got Russell Crowe. Crow. Who's in this one? I don't recognize any of these blokes. Literally everybody's been to this restaurant. You've got Bono up here, Barack Obama there, Hillary Clinton here. Who have you spotted? Denzel Washington up there. Denzel's been here. Mate, they've all been here. Look at all these pictures. Mate, this is insane how many people have been in here. So me, it's been like five months since 
since I got hired here. Like, Who's been here since you've started? You know Dev Chappelle? He had a, a program here next door. And he's been here like, but I haven't seen him in. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Dave Chappelle's been coming in. Where are you from? I'm from Ethiopia. I've been to Ethiopia. I left Ethiopia when I was like 19 years old. I stayed in Italy for 10 months. Then I moved here. It's been like, it's a, it's a year now. Do you like it here? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it looks like you love it. Yeah, I, mean, I liked it more in Europe because yeah. I watch football and stuff. So. Yeah, same. Who's your team? Man United. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Let's Liverpool? Uh, Liverpool, you, mate. Are you from Liverpool though? I live close, yeah. Why I, Man United? Since Why I Man was United? 10 years old, I'm 22 mate, right now. come well, on. Years. Well, mate, you don't have to support Man United. Come to the good side, mate. Anyways, thank you. Nice meeting you. Have a good one, mate. See you later. Thanks so much, mate. Oh, look at Woo. this. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. Look at that. Wow. Chili dog, chili fries, and I've got the Big Ben and the fries. This is a heart attack waiting to happen. Oh, How is it, Big Deb? Mmm, Big Deb be happy. Oh, mate, this is mega, isn't it? Oh, it's gonna get messy. With a half smoke, gives you verdict, mate. <laughs> oh, that's a 10 out of 10 right there, buddy. Is it mega? Oh, yeah. Oh, mate, that's really good. Uncle Ben's chili bowl gets a 10 out of 10 for me. That's how good that was. You cleaned your plate. You put me to shame. I still got fries left. Ready to make a boo? Cheers, mate. Just looking at the maps, mate. We're 33 minute walk from the White House. So, are you good for a walk? I am glad I brought my walking flip flops. May, why did you put your walking shoes on? Well, I didn't think we'd be walking so much. <laughs> DC is rocking for the middle of the day. Do people normally go out midday drinking? Well, when you got temperatures in the 80s, uh, almost in November. Ah, uh, it's uh, like UK then. Ah, uh, yeah, you might as well go out. And there's a bar in every street here. Yeah, so. true. We're getting closer and I'm boiling. What building's that, mate? It's the Supreme Court. Is it? No, but it looks like it, so we'll call it the Supreme Court. <laughs> Do you actually know what that building is? I think that's the EPA building. What's that? Uh, Environmental Protection Agency to make sure Mate, that... you haven't got a clue of it. No, nah, no, nah, it just sounded very <laughs> professional. <laughs> What's with all these food trucks? I have never seen as many food trucks. They literally go from one end of the road right down to the other. That can't be good for business. All of them are empty anyway. Yeah, well, it's also kind of winding down. I suppose it is winter, isn't it, in DC? So I suppose yeah, it's, it's quieter. Oh, look at this. Oh, Come on. look at this. They do not know that you're going to be. Mate, that is my t shirt, that. <laughs> Catch up with Jesus. Let us praise and relish him. I need that t-shirt. Hey, so what do you think about our nation's capital we got here? It's amazing, isn't it? Like the buildings, it's really clean as well, isn't it? It's got a nice vibe about it as well. No, the buildings are next level, oh, aren't they? Man, these, these I don't right think here. you get buildings like this anywhere else in the US. No, no, definitely not. These are hundreds of years old. They got anywhere from the US Constitution of the Bill of Rights to the original United States flag to the hat that Abraham Lincoln was shot and killed in. Really? Yeah, man. You can't see everything here in one weekend. There's too much. Hey, have you ever thought of becoming a tour guide in Washington? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, what do you say? Welcome to Tom's Tours today. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, that's got a ring to I, it. I'm telling you, it rolls Mate, off the Mate, get your tongue. big Deborah t-shirt on. <laughs> I'm sure some people from watching the videos will come on your tours. <laughs> Here we go, we've got our first monument here. What's that there, mate? The Washington Monument, isn't it? Yep. And what does that symbolise? <laughs> <laughs> mate, you're not going to do very good at these tours, are you? But you were American, what's that for? Come on. They had it up high, so when they had uh, a, a war... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you haven't got a clue, have you? No, but they did have them up high so they could see when people were coming. That's why they built these monuments. Same thing as the one in Boston at Bunker Hill, the Battle of Bunker Hill. So they would have that up there. They have the monument so they could get up to the top. I'm not... And they could see people coming from far away. That's so they, they built, built these... it to see people? Yes. Are you sure about that? Uh, he... <laughs> <laughs> Unless if my history lesson in, in high school failed me, that's what I was told. They build the monuments so they can see from far away up at the top when the British were coming. Tell you what, I hope you're not charging too much for these tours, mate. 
I hope you know Josh. It's a good thing that I'm not trying to apply for my US citizenship because I would fail. <laughs> All this walking's reminding me of the no money challenge. You know when I was in DC? Yeah. I just walking and walking and walking. There's so much to see though. How nice is it? Washington Monument behind. Where are we headed now, Mr. Tall Guide? To these fountains over here. These are very monumental and historic fountains that they founded these fountains uh, back the... in 1700. Flipping heck, this is impressive. I think you've got all the US states here written on these columns. You've got Atlantic here and Pacific there. I'm guessing to represent the ocean. You've got this fountain here, and I don't know if you can see, but all these people are like dipping their feet in the fountain. Why are they dipping their feet in the fountain? You're allowed to, they just don't want you to walk in as a sign of disrespect. Honor our veterans, sitting with your feet in the water is okay. Walking in the water is not okay. At the end of World War II, troops celebrated in the fountains of Europe in honor of that time. You may sit with your feet in the rainbow pool, but you may not walk, swim, or sit in the water. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, no, it is, it is. And everybody's just chilling with their feet in the water. Just coming down here, you've got the World War II memorial here, and then you've got the reflective pool here, which is just amazing. I'm guessing that's Abraham Lincoln's memorial yep, there, yep, isn't it? Yeah, good old Abe. I'd say this is probably my favorite monument out of all of them, is when you go up there, like just how big he is, just sitting there, just taking it all in. Is it's that what a... you say to your tall customers? Yeah, yeah, I try to tell them, it's like when you guys get up here, just take it all in. We've finally got to the end of the reflective pool. Now we're just gonna take a walk up into there. Is Abe actually in there? Oh yeah. Mate, I'm not gonna lie, I am exhausted. Mate. Uh, I'm about to tap out, oh yeah. Are you tired as well? Oh, I'm tired, yeah, yeah, hot, yeah. All the walking, I had zero sleep. How much yeah. sleep did you have last night? Oh, I had a really good sleep, got oh. a solid eight. Oh yeah. Mate, I wish I could say the same. <laughs> I probably had a couple of hours, and Man. then obviously tried to sleep on the plane, but you never really sleep properly on that. And you had the time zone, so you lost three hours coming over Mate, here. Mate, exactly, and I did the same the day before. Oh. 6 a.m. flight, Jeez. I didn't even sleep the day before. Right, here we go. We've got the Lincoln Memorial, which is just up these steps. Do you have to pay to go in? Or? No, no, no. All the museums and monuments here in D.C., everything is free. It's taken care of by the taxpayer dollars. You A.K.A. Know. you. Pretty much, yeah. So you could say I own this monument in a way. <laughs> We're at the top, and it is absolutely rammed in here. But this is Abe Lincoln. Look at that, that is pretty cool. The wording across the top, in this temple, as in the heart of the people for whom he saved the Union, the memory of Abraham Lincoln is enshrined forever. That is actually pretty impressive. Despite having been to DC, I've actually never seen that before. That's really smart. How many times have you seen this before? This would be my second. The second time? Yeah. This looks at one of our greatest presidents. He's actually uh, buried right inside there. Is he? No, not really. Let's try and get out of here, it is rammed. Mate, we've done some walking today. You definitely got my miles in, thanks Simon, appreciate that. I'd be interested in how many steps we've done. Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> if it's any indication, the sweat that's rolling down my back, several miles, <laughs> several miles. Is the White House definitely in this direction, mate? Yes. There's a lot of police around here. Yeah, uh, a ton, and that's not even the entrance. The White House is behind these trees over here. If you look through the trees, you can see the corner of the White House. So. The White House is over there, but this is just all the entrances to get in. So I'm gonna take you around and you'll be able to see a really good view once we get over here. Mate, there is so much police about. When the president does a motorcade, they lock this whole city down. Do they? Moves, and the police, oh man, it is massive. It's actually pretty cool to see. We're just coming around the back of the White House now. So the White House is just over that fence there, but we're just gonna walk around it. We need to get to the front of this White House, mate. It looks close, but it's probably like another 30 minute walk. Mate, it's crazy. Crazy walking. Nothing in DC is ever close. It's gonna be pitch black by the time we uh, get there. Yeah, you're telling me Sleepy Joe gonna be fast asleep by the time we get there. <laughs> he might be waking up for his midnight snack by the time we roll around. Please tell me this is where we turn to see the front. Right, let's get in front of this White House. All right, Simon, last couple of steps, buddy. We're here. We're here. We're getting there finally. You're not gonna believe it. We are finally here. What do you think, mate? It's pretty white. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the White House. There's the picture of it on the Monopoly board with the fountain. And then you look up, you can see the fountain there and the White House in the back. We completed it, mate. We completed it. Good job. Thanks for driving up. I really appreciate <laughs> My it, pleasure. man. My pleasure. Any time. Can you see any secret service? Yeah, there's uh, you got some people. I don't want to stick my hand that far in the fence, but yeah, you got <laughs> you got some people over there in the bushes. The guy at the front door, and then they're just kind of 
all scattered throughout. They will be up on the top up there as well. So, Did you see these people in the trees? Yes, yes. So when the president will take off on a helicopter, the, the Secret Service will be out in full force and they hang out in the trees. With, I've seen them with their machine guns. And, Jeez. Uh, yeah, you don't want to make any sudden movements when that happens. I ran around the corner to see the helicopter take off and I went to reach in my jacket to grab my camera out. And I was like, whoa, let me open that up a little slow, buddy. So, word to the wise, don't run after the helicopter. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, mate. That White House is dirty. It needs completely repainting. You know, like when you've got like a white wall and it's dirty. Right. That's what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. This is more like the off White House. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> right, that's the White House behind me complete. Time to get the board out and roll again. Do you want to do the honours? Absolutely. The only thing is, well, I'll have to check the board how much, but I think if you roll over a six, the game is over. So no pressure, right? No pressure. Okay, sounds good. Right, we're going to go and get the board out now. We're going to roll and we're going to see where we're going next, if we go anywhere next. Have a good one and I'll see you soon.